From anatomy to anesthesiology, from pathology to pharmacology, from microbiology to medicine, a one-man resource to the world of health sciences. Welcome to Dr. Paul's Medical Lectures. A practicing physician, Dr. Paul offers you essential insights on diseases afflicting millions of people around the world. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. This evening I want to talk a few minutes about trigeminal neuralgia. Okay. Trigeminal neuralgia, basically, the word says itself. Trigeminal, coming from trigeminal narrow, neuralgia is neuropathic pain. So it's coming from the pain in the distribution of trigeminal narrow. So trigeminal neuralgia it's characterized by repetitive, brief, unilateral facial pain confined to the distribution of trigeminal now. So patient complains of like lightning-like, stabbing-like, excruciating pain. And it comes like a lightning. It affects in a, and, and it also spontaneously goes away. So that's the main point of it. And sometimes sensory stimulation by touch or cold or wind or talking. And it precipitates those trigger zones about the cheek, nose or mouth and precipitates the paroxysms of pain. So trigeminal neuralgia, it usually develops after the fourth decade of life. And most commonly, it comes in women more than men. So, a typical patient is a woman in her fourth or fifth decade of life. And folks, it's a very, very painful thing. And it is confined mainly to the second or third divisions of trigeminal now. So, you see, there are three divisions of trigeminal now that goes like this. And mostly the maxillary division and the mandibular division. These two branches are involved. And the one with the ophthalmic branch that goes to the forehead uh, is in less than 5% of cases. Okay, so maxillary, mandibular, these two things are the most commonly affects. Now the treatment is, if the patient comes in an acute attack, you can treat with IV phenytoin. But the standard thing, folks, the standard treatment is carbamazepine. You begin with 100 milligrams orally twice daily, Increase the dose by 100 mg every other day until the patient is pain-free, okay? So that's the main thing. You can also use baclofen. It is also beneficial. And it has a synergistic effects when used with carbamazepine or phenytoin. The other medication is lamotrigin, that is Lamictal. It is also shown to be useful in the treatment of trigeminal neuralgia. Okay, and you can start Lamictal at a dose of 25 milligrams and with an increase of 25 mg every week until the pain is relieved. And some patients demand narcotics because so many patients want narcotics when they are painful, but the problem is they give only brief relief from the pain. So go from phenytoin then carbamazepine, baclofen, lamictal. These are the four important medications in the treatment of trigeminal neuralgia. When the pharmacological therapy is over, you can send the patient to surgeon because surgery to relieve the pressure on the trigeminal now, it helps many patients. So that's about trigeminal neuralgia. Very, 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 very important for examinations. It comes as repetitive, unilateral, lightning-like, stabbing-like pain that lasts a few minutes with a spontaneous abatement. Sometimes there will be uh, intervals of minutes or hours or weeks between the attacks, but they don't go away by themselves. You have to treat them. And most commonly, maxillary and mandibular nerves are affected. And diagnostic tests, you don't do, you don't do uh, diagnostic tests. 
by history you should be able to figure it out. And the other diagnostic clue is if you give carbamazepine to these patients, they develop remission. They get relief from the pain. So that itself is the diagnostic clue. And when you uh, do this uh, treatment wise, if a patient comes in acute attack, you give them phenytoin. And the standard treatment is carbamazepine. You can also use baclofen or lamictal. All these medications are, uh, have been shown to be effective. And if they don't help, surgical treatment. That's about uh, trigeminal neuralgia and uh, uh, Thanks for listening. For more medical videos, please visit us at www.drpaul.org and take time to browse through hundreds of health videos we regularly post on our site. If you are preparing for USMLE, PLAB, and other medical exams, make sure you visit our website to browse through our videos explaining the essential points you need to know before taking these examinations. For more information, visit us at www.drpaul.org. Thank you, and may God richly bless you. You. Are you preparing for USMLE? Please do not waste thousands of dollars on training courses. Get the books written by Dr. Paul with the student-to-student -student tips and memory aids. The success will be yours, and you will soon realize your dream of becoming a physician in the United States. If you are preparing for Step 2 Clinical Skills, study USMLE Smasher, a guide helping thousands of medical students to pass this examination. For more information, visit us at www.drpaul.org.